This video is gonna be all about why Spotify does not want bot streams on their platform. And so this should be pretty quick, hopefully. But this is one of the updates that they created when they updated their royalty structure in the new year. So they decided that they were going to punish people for having bots stream their songs. So this is exactly why they actually do care about this. So first of all, uh, the first reason why Spotify cares that bots are streaming on their platform is that it's messing with the Spotify algorithm. So Spotify's biz entire business model is built off of their algorithm. Basically, if you like XYZ artist, you'll also like ZY S artist. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, if you like XYZ artists, you'll probably like ABC artists as well. So that is essentially their algorithm at a very simplistic level. Um, they measure like which artists are getting streamed by the same person. They look at which artists are on the same playlists. They look at what artists have similar like vibes. They have an algorithm that tells you like, oh, this is energetic or chill or whatever else. Um, they basically measure the song as well as all of those other measurements of actual user data to basically build this algorithm. And by having bots in the system streaming songs that usually just aren't very good, um, that means that it's actually increasing the data that's being fed into the algorithm and actually messing up the algorithm. So that's why Spotify does not want bots streaming on their platform because it's actually messing up their algorithm so that they don't have real organic data to work with. Because if I have, say, a terrible song, like objectively bad, and but I get a bot to stream it 100,000 times, they're probably going to start feeding that song to other people. And what Spotify wants to do is curate their entire platform to be the highest quality experience for the listener possible. So if me as a listener now, I'm going onto the platform and I'm being fed a song that is objectively terrible on my you know radio or Discover Weekly, then I am immediately going to have a very negative view of their platform and their algorithm. And therefore, I'm, I'm probably not going to spend as much time on Spotify. I'm not going to trust Spotify as much. And therefore, I am going to be fed less ads by Spotify, and which is really where Spotify makes their money. So if I'm a free user, Spotify makes money via ads. And if I'm a premium user, then they just want to keep me there as long as possible. Because if I'm not there, then I will probably cancel my subscription because I'm not actually using it for Spotify. So those are the top reasons why bots are terrible for the algorithm and therefore why Spotify does not want bots on their platform at all, ideally. The next reason why Spotify does not want bots is that they measure engagement on users and therefore they can charge companies money to advertise on their platform. So this is all catered towards the free users, which most bots probably are free users of the platform. They're not paying $10 a month for each bot to utilize the platform. So with that in mind, they actually have free accounts. These all, you know, these bots are free accounts and then they're getting fed ads intermittently with whatever song or playlist that they're streaming. And companies, so let's say that Coca-Cola is advertising on Spotify, if Coca-Cola pays Spotify to advertise on their platform, they want to make sure that those ads are being fed to real people. They don't want that to be fed to a bot because a bot doesn't drink Coca-Cola versus a real person might drink Coca-Cola. And so therefore, Coca-Cola is probably not going to hire Spotify or pay them as much to advertise on their platform. The quality of consumers on that platform are low because there's so many bots on the platform. So that's another reason why Spotify does not want bots on the their platform. Why it might actually be in your best interest to organically get streams rather than trying to pay bots to stream your song. Because ultimately, at the end of the day, Spotify is trying to build the highest quality platform and make, and ultimately, it is designed to help artists get discovered once you get inside of their algorithm. And so you need good music, though, to get into that algorithm. Yes, you probably need to get some traffic to Spotify to stream your song, to get enough data inside of the algorithm to then feed it to more appropriate people like your ideal listener. But once you're able to get past that initial you know, milestone of getting in those algorithmic playlists, it the snowball starts to work for you. And that's kind of the key. So most people think I'm not gonna you know, pay 
you know, 50 cents a listener to get them from Facebook over to my Spotify to stream my song. That's not the point. That one stream you got is not the point. The point is you're going to get the right listener from Facebook over to your Spotify, and then they're going to stream your song, and then they're going to put it on a playlist with other artists they also like, and then therefore the Spotify algorithm will be able to start to associate your song with other people's songs that are similar to your yours organically, and then they're going to serve your song to the right people. Because another thing bot playlists do is that they just throw you on a playlist. It doesn't matter if any of those songs are actually of the same quality as yours or the same genre as yours. And so the, you know, the, it messes up the algorithm, to, so it actually feeds your song to the wrong people algorithmically, even if you do get inside of those algorithmic playlists. So not all streams are equal, and not all traffic sources are equal either to Spotify. So, so there is a play here. Again, if you play by Spotify's rules, then Spotify will reward you for playing by their rules. Spotify's main goal is to have high-quality consumers using their platform, and in order to do that, they want the highest quality experience by people on the platform for people to experience. So hopefully that makes a little bit more sense to you of why they're so opposed to bot streams and why they're kind of coming hard down in 2024 on bot streams and bot farms in general for Spotify playlists. The whole crux of this conversation also comes back to having great music. And so if you want to make sure that your music is objectively amazing, then I created a free guide on how I got over 30,000 streams in my very first three weeks with a new artist project and over 26,000 months monthly listeners as well. So uh, you can go check it out. There'll be a link to that release in the description in case you don't believe me, even though I'm talking into a gold microphone, so you probably should. But then also you'll see you'll see that You'll see the link to the guide as well. It's totally free um, just for you to be able to go out and actually get real results with your music and be able to test your music to make sure it's actually going to be good before you release it so that you're not just wasting ad dollars or uh, just production budget on songs that aren't actually going to go anywhere. So you can go ahead, check that out down below, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. See you there.